Hi, I'm Brian. Here we are again. The politicians in Washington are back at it and are about to restrict the rights of responsible reptile owners. A bill called S-373 has just passed committee and is on the way to the Senate floor for a full vote within the next several weeks. If passed, S-373 will add nine species of constrictors to the Lacey Act, including Burmese pythons and boa constrictors. What does this mean? Well, anyone that owns one of these animals would be prohibited by law to transport them across state lines. To do so would constitute a felony and could result in jail time. My name is Jason Bailey. I'm a technical sergeant in the U.S. Air Force. I've been in for 14 years now. I served a six-month tour in Iraq four years ago, and uh, I keep reptiles. I've had boas and pythons for about 14 years, and I think it's pretty funny that I can serve my country and go over and fight for everybody's rights, but yet, if I get stationed in another state, I can't take my pets with me. When I was 15, my mom bought me my first baby boa constrictor, and I've been working with reptiles ever since. Ever since Brian was a young boy, he really loves his snakes. He read about them, he picked them up from outside. Anything to do with snakes, that was Brian. So we decided that we would surprise him and buy him a baby boa constrictor who he named King. And I am just so amazed that snakes make such good pets. I believe in responsible pet ownership, and I'm not advocating that just anyone should own a large constrictor, but these animals are being misrepresented. While it is true that there's a problem with feral Burmese pythons in the Florida Everglades, this regulation will affect the entire country even though there is no solid science showing that these animals have harmed the ecosystem or human health anywhere else. The same is true for the other eight species affected by S-373. The FWC has been working closely with reptile enthusiasts to pass responsible Florida regulation to deal with Florida's problem. I am confident that they will achieve this goal through their combined efforts. So I ask you, why do we need federal regulation to solve a local problem when that regulation would threaten tens of thousands of jobs and cost an ailing economy tens of millions of dollars? These animals are not the scary monsters making headlines. People from all walks of life enjoy them as pets. This ban leaves responsible pet owners with no options and no future. And don't forget all the people that make their livelihood working with these incredible creatures, from pet shops to breeders to wildlife educators. Hello, my name is Dan Briere, and I'm a wildlife educator out of Michigan. This is Sunshine. This snake, along with many other types of creatures, is part of my outreach program where we visit schools, libraries, scout events, and teach kids about wildlife. If this python ban passes, I will be unable to cross state lines and do what I do best, showing these creatures to kids. And not only that, my pets. I would lose out quite a bit if this bill passes and might even affect my livelihood, hobby, and my interest in these pets. What do we gain by punishing the millions of responsible pet owners? Let's say you own a pet boa, and you have to move to another state for a new job. If S-373 passes, you will not be able to take your pet with you. What's going to happen to all these helpless animals? If S-373 passes, there will be no exceptions for private pet owners to take their animals across state lines. You will have no choice but to have your pet euthanized. Worse still, some people would set their pets free, the very practice that this bill is trying to protect us from in the first place. It's time to stand together and take action. Here are some of the best resources to help us fight this flawed bill and educate yourself in the process. PJEC has been fighting for the rights of animal lovers for 30 years and continues to do so every day, along with their new campaign, Don't Mess With My Pet. U.S. ARC is the first and only reptile association fighting for all reptile-related laws. The National Pet Association represents the interests of pets and pet owners. They are working hard on the net and in Washington, D.C. to protect pet python and boa ownership. And for step-by-step -step instructions on how you can make a difference, go to www.nosnakeban.com. There you'll find detailed information about the Bowen Python ban, including an overview in history. Take action now. To make your voice heard, click on Take Action Now. Stars show how effective each step is. The more stars, the more you'll be doing to help. My personal goal is to get all 15 stars, but we need all levels of help, so please do whatever you can. 
Step number one, sample email to send out to everyone you know along with this video so they can help out. Step number two, click on the link and enter your zip code to send emails to your representatives in Congress. Step number three, again, enter your zip code to get your representatives. Click the call button to voice your opinion of this bill. There are suggested discussion topics and please remember to be polite. What is really great about this call feature is that it will dial the number for you and call your phone to connect you with your representative's office. Step number four. This is a five-star step and most important. This will help you find the closest local office for your representatives. It may take a long time to get a personal meeting with your senator, but meeting with a staffer as soon as possible can be highly effective in having your voice heard. Do not wait or get discouraged if you cannot meet with your senator directly. Step number five, follow up and share the information that you've learned from your emails, phone calls, and meetings with the groups leading this fight. What else? You can download banners, flyers, watch videos, and speak out on a sounding board, but remember to keep it clean. USARC and PJAC have similar processes on their site, so be sure to check out all of these incredible resources and remember how hard they are all working to protect your rights to keep pets. I can't imagine my life without animals, and I want my kids to enjoy the same freedom that I had while dedicating my life to caring for animals. Please help join us in the fight to defeat S-373. Thank you.